Hello everybody, and welcome back to another Python tutorial video. Uh, today we're going to go over for loops. Now, for loops are uh, like while loops, but they, I guess, they count. So there's three things we need to know here. Um, range. This is a new statement. Length. We need to know about the keyword in. And we're going to learn about uh, just for loops in general. So here is the syntax. So I'm going to basically tell you what the range statement does. So I'm going to put the range of, uh, let's say, 14. And then I'm going to also comment that out. Print the length of this string. Apple, or uh, not apples. Um, hello world. Uh, and then I'm just going to comment this out as well. Um, we need this just to just to know what we're doing here. Um, so uh, range basically says you can see it prints out it printed out range uh, 0 14 so that means 14 has can go from 0 and that, that's that's I'll show you how it's used later but it's uh, we should know that it doesn't return something regular like a, a regular uh, piece of data like a string or a, like I don't know an integer or a double um, and as you can see hello world uh, as I print, printed a uh, len hello world it has 10 it entered in it printed out 10 so why is that well just count how many letters there are in hello world there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now this is helpful because let's say we're using a loop to go through something which is what I'm going to show you I'm just going to show you how it works right now. So, so I wrote for x in hello world. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to print. Just bear with me here. Now, we are going to run this code. So, basically, what we did is we basically just took hello world and we printed it out uh, we printed out all the characters individually now since we printed hello world all individually what does this mean so basically what this for loop is saying is it's like a while loop it will go through this statement uh, however many times you tell it now when it says for x in hello world Let's try to decipher what that means. Now that means for whatever variable in some string. Um, so basically what we're going to do is what it's saying is it's going to create a variable x and it's going to assign a value and it's going to go through this string it goes through every character of this string and in the first iteration it goes to h the first character in the string and assigns x to h. So let's say, um, you know, we want it to, so x will equal h in the first, uh, when it runs through the first time. Then it's just going to run through um, every single character in this loop, and it's just going to run the code down here for every character in this loop. And then it's going to stop. So we don't even need to use x in our. Uh, system um, because it, it's going to run 10 times um, but we didn't even need to use x I'm just going to show you that it's just uh, this is just saying how um, it's setting a variable to each character in this string um, this is one of, this is one of the ways you can run a for loop but you can also run it other ways so I'm just going to do print let's say hi it will print hi so it's going to print high the same amount of times because it's just going through the first character, assigning x to h, 
then it's printing high. It's not doing anything with X, it's just assigning it to H for the first iteration. Then it's going through the second time, and it's assigning E to X, and then it's just printing high again. Uh, it goes through the third time, print, uh, sets X to L, and then it's just printing high for every single time. Now, this is really good because uh, I'm going to show you something else that we can do. So we're going to say for x in range, and then we're just going to pick a number. I'm going to choose 10, just 10. And then I'll show you what it does. And it does the same thing. That's because uh, if you do for x in range 10, it's going to run 10 times because you need to give it some type of range value. Um, now we can use these in different ways. We can use uh, for x in and then we can say um, this is our first uh, introduction to sort of arrays. So if I were to make an array, um, these are things that I'm going to talk about much later. Uh, yeah, talk, talking about it much later. but. Um, Arrays are basically uh, tables of values, but I'm just going to say array, and then it's going to run through every value of that array. But right now I'm just going to show you how we can apply it to a string. So let's do for x in range, uh, let's see, 20. Uh, now we're just going to do for x in Now we're going to print. I'm actually going to change this variable here because it might mess it up. Now I'm going to print every character. So I'm going to print. I'm going to print y, and then I'm going to print x. Or no, I'm going to print x. And now, yeah, I'm gonna do, yeah. so basically, we're going to run it now. Now, you might be wondering why it goes from zero. It starts from zero, it goes zero. Hello world, one. Hello world, two. Hello world. Um, these numbers, they start at zero. Um, they start at zero and they go up to nine. That's because it's it's like you're moving everything back one. If you were to count from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, it's gonna count zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, so I mean if we want to make it so that it'll print out exact like what iteration it is, uh, we can just do x plus one. And then there you go, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, this is just how uh, these numbers count. Um, but as you can see, we're printing out a lot of stuff here. And this is where we can start to get, it, get into a lot of cool things. So um, let's say I want to make a new string. Let's see what I want to do. Basically what I've written here is a program that just prints out H, and then it prints out H-E, and then H-E-L, and then H-E-L-O, and then it goes all the way up to Hello World. Now, this is this is pretty, pretty good because we can go through lists of things. Um, I don't know how useful it will be right now, um, so, but this is pretty much, you know, I think it's a pretty good explanation of the for loop. Um, it runs things a certain time, so let's say we're just trying to add up, you know, we're trying to add up something, or we're trying to run a program a certain amount of times. Let's say we want to run a program, uh, we're going to run a program like 15 times, and we're going to make a, like, I don't know, we're going to print a counter, print x, it's just going to go 0 to 14, and that's pretty much all we really need to know about for loops. Um, 
they're basically advanced while loops. Um, they can count, uh, and they're they're pretty useful with arrays and lists, which will come in much later. But um, they're very useful once we get to arrays and lists uh, because you can just go through them and you can run things. So the next video we're just going to do try and catch statements, which is really good for handling errors. Um, and then we're going to do a video on random numbers that should be quick. Uh, and then we're getting through math functions and then we'll get to regular functions, which that video is going to be great. Um, so thank you for watching uh, and I will see you in the next video.